This presentation includes information from April 2023. For updated information, please visit Bear County and or San Antonio Legal Services Association. Next, let's talk about property tax basics. The basics of the property tax system. Why do we have property taxes in Texas? Well, Texas is one of nine states which do not have a state income tax. On the state level, the main source of tax revenue is sales and franchise taxes. On the local level, the main source of revenue is property taxes. Property taxes help pay for local services, including schools, streets, fire, police, and libraries. A recent study was done to determine what would happen if there weren't property taxes in Texas and the revenue needed to be raised through sales taxes. What that study determined was that the sales tax rate would have to be increased to about 35% to make up for the loss of revenue from property taxes. That means if you went to your store and spent $100 on something, that you would pay $135 counting tax. Therefore, it appears that property taxes are here to stay. Property taxes are locally assessed. In San Antonio, properties are assessed by the Bear Appraisal District. Then taxing units set the tax rates. In theory, as property values rise, tax rates should go down. Keep in mind that properties are appraised as of January 1 of each tax year. When valuing properties, what the appraisal district looks at is market values and equal and uniform values. Market value is what a willing buyer is going to pay to a willing seller, whereas equal and uniform value is how is your property being valued compared to similar properties. Understand that appraisal districts use mass appraisal techniques, meaning that they don't go to each individual home each year to value it. They value all of the parcels as a group by particular neighborhoods or parts of town. In 2022, for example, the Bear Appraisal District was responsible for appraising approximately 730,000 parcels of property, including 650,000 residential properties. Therefore, the appraisal district can't inspect every property every year. As you will learn from this presentation, you know your home the best, and we will show you how to show your home to the Bear Appraisal District. Next, let's talk about the notice of appraised value, which is mailed out by the appraisal district, typically in March or April of each year. When you receive the notice of appraised value, as you see on the screen, be sure to read your notice carefully because it contains a lot of important information. As you can see from the notice, you are provided last year's property value, as well as the proposed value for the current year, broken up by land and improvements. An important line in your notice of appraised value is down at the bottom where it says exemptions. That is the line that tells you whether the appraisal district is in fact recognizing that you have applied for and are being granted an exemption. In this example, the HS reflects that this property owner is receiving a homestead exemption. So, when you get your notice, make sure if you've applied for an exemption that it appears on your statement. If not, that may be an area that you need to protest. If you're receiving a homestead exemption, there are caps that are applied that ensure that your value for taxable purposes will not increase more than 10% from the previous year, provided that no additional improvements have been added to the property. So for example, last year when values went up on average 28%, if you had applied for your homestead exemption, your increase in value would be limited to 10%. Also appearing on the notice of appraised value are 
whether your taxing units are correct or not, you can see the listing of tax units and also estimated tax rates. Next, we're going to talk about property tax exemptions.